gonna go over a, uh, a rear triangle choke that's set up from a bow and arrow or a failed bow and arrow, okay? So I have his back, standard kind of stuff. I want a little space between him and me. If he's too close, he's harder to choke. I want him to fall back, have my over under grip, the bottom hand is on top, and pretty much any instructor that you have will explain why. But I'm gonna grab this, just like this here, and I'm gonna start going for the choke. I'm gonna put this foot right here, over, and I'm gonna put my leg over this arm, like this. I'm gonna grab my shin, just like this, put my foot in the hip, bite in, so I can scoot back and get the triangle choke. Now, there's a couple ways I can go. One, I can lift my hips. Two, I can walk backwards. Three, of course I have Americana, wrist locks, Kimura, but what is usually a little different is to grab this arm and pull. And what that does, let me loosen up, is it compresses the head and the shoulders together more and it just adds, it multiplies the effectiveness of a triangle choke. So this is good, I mean this works, but if you can get that and this, just watch his face. And it works really nice, okay? Now what are some other options if you're from here? This is one, put it here like this, two, right into an arm bar. So everything that you do, if it fails, you just have to ask yourself, what can I do from here? And if I'm going for a move, what do I really need to do? Where do my, does my body need to be? And what energy does my partner or opponent need to give me? And once you understand what you need and they need, it's a lot easier. Thanks for letting us post in the group. Take care.